In this video, we're going to show you how to install AutoCAD. It's quite simple. Essentially, you're just going to press go, type in a few bits of information here or there, and then let it do its work. Now, this is going to take a while. So you're going to want to make sure you're not in a hurry and that you have plenty of time. And if you're using a laptop, make sure it's plugged in because it could take as much as 20, 30 minutes up to an hour or so. When you install AutoCAD, you need the proper media. That means the type of file that you're going to use to install AutoCAD. You are probably, these days, have downloaded AutoCAD from their website. If so, install that file. Maybe you had it on a CD or DVD or maybe on a jump drive. Plug those in. Now, they should start automatically if that's the case. Either way, if they don't start automatically, or if you've downloaded the file, browse to the folder that was created. Now, typically what's going to happen is you're going to download the file. It'll go to your download folder, and then there will be an .exe file. Run that file. It will extract a whole bunch of other files, and it will ask you where you want to put them, and put them on a folder on your computer, on your C drive, called Autodesk. That's the default, and I say just go with that. I still have my install files here from AutoCAD 2015. Now here are those extracted files from AutoCAD 2016. So you want to go there and browse to that file, or if you have it on a CD, DVD, or jump drive, browse to that drive, find this folder, and then look for the setup.exe file. Once you find that, double click it. That will open up the setup window. Click yes, and then you'll have this splash screen come up. So now you've started the setup.exe file, you've given Windows permission to work with the setup files here, now you need to create your installation. Now you have a couple of different options here. If you're installing with a different language and you have a language pack, you can come up here to the top right. I only have English, so that's what I'm going to install. Now if you're installing AutoCAD across the network for your company and you have to install it on several workstations, your best option is to create a deployment. This will take you through all of the install steps and create an executable file that you will be able to run on each individual workstation. And that's all you'll have to do. You'll have to say, okay, run this file on this computer, and it goes. You don't have to go through all of this setup ever again, just one time. And that's great because it saves you time and effort, and it makes sure that you install AutoCAD the same way on all of the machines. And you have other install tools and utilities here. I'm gonna click that so you can get a quick look at it. This is just other tools that are listed here to help you manage your network installation of AutoCAD if you're using a network license, or if you're using some other management tools. So I'm not going to do any of that, so I'm going to go back. Down here in the bottom, you'll see they're kind of grayed out. There's a readme file. If you click on it, it'll open up your browser, and it'll give you some last-minute information that Autodesk has for you regarding AutoCAD. Now, if you're not sure if any of your workstations can handle AutoCAD 2016, that's okay. You can go here to the system's requirements, and it will tell you what you need hardware-wise. And if you need help at any time, you can click on Installation Help, and that will get you there. Now, if you say, all right, I don't want to do this now, something's come up, I have to leave or stop, you can just click on the Exit button, and that will exit you from the installation process. But once you're ready, click on Install. That will install AutoCAD on the computer that you're working on at that moment. This is the End User License Agreement, the EULA. It's very long. I suggest you read it. And you can't continue on unless you say, I accept. Autodesk will not allow you to install AutoCAD on your computer unless you agree with this user agreement. So click on I accept. Once you've read it and that you do accept it, you can go on. Click Next. At any time in this process, if you mess up on a page, you can click on the back button, make your couple of changes, and click Next. And at any time, you can click Cancel as well. Here's my product language. And you have the options here of installing a standalone or a network installation. And in this case, I'm just installing a standalone version. And you have two options here for the product information. If you're installing a 30-day free trial, that's what I'm doing right here. In this case, uh, you click this option here. Now, if you have your license for your software, you click here, put in your serial number and your product key. Product keys are unique for the type of AutoCAD that you're installing, for the version, for the type of computer, etc. Now, serial numbers are unique to you and your license. Don't share that with anybody. That's yours. That's what gives you the right to your software. So never post it on the internet and don't ever show it to anybody. If you have a license or you think you're going to purchase a license, you can always install the 30-day trial and then later on install your license and serial number information. So I'm going to click this direction 
And either way in which you install it with your product information or with the 30-day trial, the installation process is the same. So I'm going to click Next. And these are the options of software programs that come with your standard AutoCAD package and what it is exactly of them that you're going to install. See this little eye here in the blue circle? This gives you a little bit of information. You may want to read that if you see them. To install these, you click on the checkbox here. Make sure there's a check. Now, this little triangle here will give you some different information. This will allow you to install some things extra that you may or may not want. If space is limited on your computer, and you can tell because down here in the bottom right, it tells you how much space is required and how much space you have available. I recommend typically that you install absolutely everything, assuming you have the room, of course. So make sure everything is checked this way. Go to the custom, not the typical, because that won't install everything. But click on custom. You definitely want to use the express tools. Some of these others you may not want, but you may want them in the future. Of course, if there's anything that you don't install now, you can always go back and install it later on if you find that you do need it. And I'm clicking this box here to create a desktop shortcut for my desktop because that's where you put a desktop shortcut. So once you've gone through the entire list, click on the triangle there and we'll pop it back up. I'm going to also install Autodesk Recap and my A360 or my Autodesk 360 account is going to enable that. I want that on there as well. So I recommend that you install AutoCAD at the default location, the program files. You can move that differently if you'd like. That's okay. You just browse here and tell it where you want to go. Next is to click the install. So you have a few things on your screen here. This tells you your progress. I have 11 of 12 items remaining. And this tells me what it's installing here, my DirectX runtime package. This is a part that takes a while and there's not much left to do. You can stop and stare at these if you'd like. I recommend you just go get some coffee, take a break read the newspaper, something like that. So I'm going to pause the video while this finishes, and then when we get there, I'll come back. Once AutoCAD has completely installed, you'll get a screen that looks something like this. It'll tell you everything's been installed, and if there are any errors or anything that failed in the installation, it will tell you in this area here. So when you're finished, just close everything up.